got the deck hose going. Go ahead and uh, splash the deck. Get this uh, thin layer of ice thawed off. It's pretty slippery. everyone how some people salt their bait mm -hmm. for uh, I guess quicker quicker baiting later on yeah prep beforehand yeah and for longer trips where you might not have refrigeration available or something like that mm -hmm. it works well I guess um, speaking it usually looks pretty good for herring especially the soft bait for whatever reason that'll help pull some of the moisture out of it and firm it out personally i think fresh bait is always best yeah that's how i feel but there is instances when it can be helpful and if you have something really oily like good oily herring you know you usually don't lose a lot of the oil salt in it or like chum salmon that's just really oily that stuff does well salt in it. Mm -hmm. but uh but still i think nothing really beats fresh bait too cold in the harbor to come out in the water. So yeah, the harbor is kind of like a bowl behind Pillar Mountain. It's kind of, in the summer it traps the heat, in the winter it traps the cold. Gotcha. 
channels through there and you sort of when you have cools it off. seem very fishy at all. Catching is nice. I don't know this. It's got some, I think. Mm -hmm. I don't think it holds quite as well as regular squid. Well, the tentacles do, but maybe not the body pieces. They shrivel. It's just gonna be a gorgeous day again, isn't it? Yeah. Yesterday was a really nice day. Blustery in the morning and actually a little bit in the evening too. But uh, but not rough out, so that was nice. And fishing was okay too. Some beautiful fish yesterday. Enjoyed it. Got home at a relatively decent hour, I think about nine o'clock in the evening. Pretty typical day for us fishing. Get up at six and get home at nine or so. Kind of a long day, but fairly easy day. Yeah, pretty relaxed, for sure. So I suppose we're shooting for about 10 on the first one and 11 or 12 on the next time. So as long as we have enough for those two, we could think about getting going here soon. Okay. I think like 9.30, we just start by 9.30, we must be getting around then. Yeah, right. Well, I guess we'll finish up this tub and start setting out. Bring you back then.
Ready, Freddy.
Alrighty guys, two more to go. Made up the rest of these hooks. And fingers crossed for halibut. Alright guys, well, about to start hauling our first set for the day. It's uh, had a four and a half hour soak, so pretty good. Um, yeah, nothing much more to say than that. It's a beautiful day out here. Much, uh, much nicer than it's been lately it seems like yeah. I guess uh, yeah, yesterday was nice. yesterday was pretty nice but it's exceptionally nice today so beautiful day hopefully good fishing so we'll get hauling here in a few minutes and fingers crossed it's fish In the footage uh, from yesterday I noticed that the camera wobbles when I clamp it on there so unfortunately I'm gonna have to put you guys on the table over here we'd like to get like an outrigger that swings out like that put you out in the end and get some more action shots maybe next year though it's kind of busy yeah so maybe we can put something together during this flow. yeah we also need one for a light, so it would be good to get one made. But we'll see if that happens, guys. For yeah, now. We don't have our camera crew here. Yeah. <clears throat> our bait and pin and camera crew. So we do what we can. Yeah, in the past I've put the camera up on the boom there, but it kind of gives you a funky angle because it's just like almost straight down and it's a little bit weird but anyway it's all right I know you guys appreciate 
seeing whatever, so. Set you guys up over here. At least you get to see the fish coming over the rail. That's the exciting part.
a little tangle there and a handful of fish on it.
分さあさあ Before the storm. Sure is. Nice day to be out fishing. Devil down.
catch you off guard. Sneak up on you. Snooping around taking a sip of water or something. Another just kind of an experiment. Like. 
close by it on kind of a little ridge too. I'm hoping it's hard and rocky enough to fish on it. That's kind of what we've been seeing, Try and do our best to get this stuff back, you guys, but sometimes you just gotta let it go back down. And we'll deal with it another day, I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> we'll be taking our top though. It's just too heavy to try and pull on board and dangerous. Uh, let her go back down. Hopefully it'll slip out here in the deep where we don't see. That pile was actually really heavy. What was it, full of mud? It must have been mud or yeah. rope. Yeah, that was heavy. I mean, it was, we're free now. That's what it was. Yeah, so we do, do our best to clean up the garbage here if we can. I mean, we definitely don't like hanging up on this junk every time. So we get it out when we can and clean up the environment a little bit. But sometimes you just gotta let it go. Especially those old trap pots, they get rotten and the steel bars are broken and stuff. They're, they're sharp, they're covered with nasty mud, nasty black stuff. I can't imagine getting cut or poked by that stuff. It might have a real bad infection. So it's just, it's not, it's not worth it to try and Get it off. What do we got coming here? Nice one? That might be a nice one. That's so nice. Put right up. But into the bin. fish. These are also an IFQ uh, system. Back he goes. They're beautiful fish. They are. Very oily. Very dense meat too. Let's have a couple of big Fatties here, man. Yeah. Couple of these fat ink. 